Hey guys and welcome back to another video with Lugalilje. So this week I finally got around finishing my drawing of Peridot and Lapis from Steven Universe. And just as my last Steven Universe speed drawing, this piece is sort of made as a tribute to one of the episodes from the TV show. And last time I made one of these I drew the answer and this time it's Gem Harvest. I have also made one for Lion 2, the movie, but I didn't turn that one into a speed drawing since that was around the time when I just received my new tablet and I just wanted to get familiar with it uh, before I created a real piece of art and work and drawing for my YouTube channel, so that's why. But if you want to see the drawing, I have it posted on my Instagram and I will be leaving a link for that down below so you can go and check it out afterwards. This drawing, guys, took forever. I mean, the parts that you see here in the speed drawing took about 5 hours for me to complete and that's a long time if you ask me. And that's not even counting the sketching and finding out what colors I should use and that's probably at least an hour and a half on top of that. I know that this has like a background and I added quite a few details in the background but it's still a long time. It's six and a half hour at least, probably even seven hours if you ask me. But I am bringing this drawing as a print for my next Artist Alley, so I wanted it to be great and not as sloppy as some of my art sometimes tend to do just because I want it to be done. So I really took the time to just sit down and create this drawing as great as I could. And I know that I could have taken out some of the details in the background but I really like them in the sketch so I kept them and I'm really happy that I did. I don't think I ever really properly thank you guys for being subscribed to my channel. It means a lot to me and a while back I actually passed 100 subscribers and it's just amazing and I'm really happy and I know a hundred subscribers may not sound like a lot when there's like people out there who has over a million couple of million subscribers but to me it's it's really a lot and I'm really thankful and if there's any kind of video you want me to do just let me know maybe you want to see a workspace tour or you want me to do a drawing challenge or a tutorial it's been a while since I actually did my last tutorials and half of the tutorials I have done over the time is in Danish and is now unlisted on my channel so it's something I really want to get back into and what I'm really trying to say is just I'm happy that you guys are subscribed and hopefully we will add more people along the line but for now, I just really wish to make a channel that you guys like and the best version of me presented out there. I went for a more painterly way of shading in this drawing than for example the drawing from last week's video. But then when I had to shade the face of Lapis, I just couldn't make it work and it just bothered me and it just looked weird and I even flipped the canvas once just to try and even it out and figure out what's wrong and it just fell off and I couldn't make it work in the beginning but I just kept coming back and just redoing and adding a few touches here and there and I think it ended up being really nice in the end. I still feel like I am a beginner when it comes to realistic drawings and paintings and coloring and so forth and I know it's just something that I will have to practice and maybe do some studies but it's just all about finding the times. I actually bought a book a while back that's called Color and Light, a guide for the realistic painter. I haven't finished reading it yet. There's a lot of text and it's quite heavy and it's in English so it's kind of a process. 
but so far I'm really liking it. It's not your typical learn to draw book. It's not like tutorials. It's just presenting you with the things that you should consider when you're doing your own art and I really like that because you don't end up just copying what the artist of the book is doing but you sort of take the things that you learn and put it into your own art and I think that's really a great way to learn something. Before anyone is going to comment on the pumpkins, I know that they look quite green and it's actually on purpose and it's something that I have learned recently. It's just to not use a totally bright orange, for example in this case, for making it look like a pumpkin because to add a bit of green into the pumpkin actually makes it look more realistic. A really good example on this is that whenever you paint something white, you rarely never ever use 100% white. You will add a bit of blue, green, purple, whatever color to make it look more realistic. And it's something that I had a really hard time understanding in the beginning and it's just weird that the white is not 100% white but it's just your eye makes you think that the white is white but actually when you look at something white it's not completely white it's, it has different shades and it depends on what light source is hitting the thing so yeah and it's it's something that I only just a few years ago started adding in my own art so if you don't get this and you don't understand it or if you're not doing this yet don't worry I have been drawing for a really long time and for those of you who don't know I just turned 26 as mentioned, I have created more Steven Universe drawings like this and I have a few more planned out or that's... I have like tiny small thumbnail pieces on some loose paper somewhere on my desk or in a sketchbook, I'm not quite sure actually. And I really like all of them, but so far I have to actually say that this one is the one that I like the best. I just really liked how the characters looked, even though that's probably one of the things that if I had to change something, it would be the size of Lapis. I would make her taller because if Paradox were to stand up, I think she would be as tall if not taller than Lapis and I know that they variate the height in this show but I just still feel like that Lapis is bigger than Peridot or taller than Peridot. And we are almost done and I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Again thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed please remember to hit that subscribe button and I post a new video every week. But if you want to be updated even more, I also have an Instagram where I post progress pictures and final work. And if you want to buy any of my art, you can always visit my Redbubble shop. I will leave a link for all that down below. And until next time, take care and bye bye.